In this video, you're going to learn how to pause the execution of your code, examine the contents of your variables, and make changes to them. So, we have a small code sample, and we wish to pause the program on the very first line. Place a breakpoint by clicking on the left side, or just use the F9 key on the relevant line. Now run your app in debug mode by hitting F5. This will run the app and pause it whenever the code hits a breakpoint. Now, as you can see, the breakpoint has been triggered. During this, you can do several things. You can step through the code using the F10 key. If you want to step inside the method, you can use F11 instead. That will move us into the greet method. If you want to step out of it, you can use Shift F11. That would execute all the code inside it and move you out of the function. Now, that's not the only useful thing about breakpoints. While your app is paused, you can see what's inside your variables by hovering over them. In our case, we can see that the input contains the name Alex. Let's say we want to say hello to someone else. Click on the value, update it, let's say to Bruce, and press enter. If you now step forward to execute the line of code, you'll see that we printed an entirely different value from the original. If, for whatever reason, you want to execute that line of code again, you don't have to relaunch the whole app. You can click on the arrow on the left side and drag it back to a previous line of code. Now do bear in mind that it doesn't move your code back in time. In this case, if you execute your code again, your console will end up with two print statements instead of one. If you want to unpause your app, just hit the 5 or use the continue button at the top. This will continue running the app as usual until it hits another breakpoint. You can remove all of them using Ctrl Shift F9 if needed. In any case, if you ever want to find the relevant shortcuts, you can find all of those in the debug menu. And there we go. You now know how to use breakpoints.